What's up guys, it's Jeff Chan from Emory Shredded, and in this video, I'll be giving you four effective, yet super easy to do tips to landing your jab. As usual, if you appreciate my work, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So, the first little trick to landing the jab, sometimes our opponent has an open guard, as you can see here. Instead of our nice shell guard, sometimes, more often in MMA, our hands are open. So, instead of going for the jab right away, a little trick is to punch the glove first. So, we know that my opponent's gonna use his right hand to parry my jab. So from here, I'm gonna pop and punch his glove first. And if I can punch it hard enough, it's gonna pop back, then I'm gonna jab. Because if his hand is flying away from the punch, he's unable to parry the punch. So I'm gonna pop it away, then jab. Tip number two, let's throw the hook to the head first, then throw the jab. So, as you can see here, when I throw my left hook, my opponent is going to carriage block by combing his hair. When he combs his hair, he leaves his front open and it's gonna be slower for him to bring his hand back down and parry. So we're gonna throw the hook, we can even slap it. Slap, then jab. Bang! He's always looking for to empty the gym of all that. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform where professionals can create classes and people can pay a subscription to learn about several topics such as design, marketing, video, and more. You might be interested in vlogging your own martial arts journey like me, so there are a lot of resources on this platform for that. The specific class I took is called Video Editing with Adobe Premiere Pro for Beginners, taught by Jordi Van de Put. Some of you may have noticed a huge difference in my editing. I normally rely on Final Cut Pro, but I've just started incorporating Adobe Premiere to my videos. It can take a long time to learn how to use a new editing program, but this class quickly taught me what I needed. Skillshare is created specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Tip number three is always faint first. So instead of just throwing a jab right away where Van can parry, I'm gonna faint. And you see that? If I faint and I get my opponent to bite, he's gonna drop his hand down to parry, and as his hand's coming back up to his guard, that's when we're gonna catch him with that jab. Faint and jab. <laughs> Number four, when throwing the jab, instead of throwing our textbook jab where our hands are up by our face, Tony can see the jab coming, we're gonna actually drop our hand down and punch from the hips. By punching from the hips, our punch is actually out of our opponent's peripherals. So if my hand's down here, my opponent may not think that I'm gonna throw the jab. And I'm just gonna use my footwork, step in and pop the jab. On the other hand, if I stayed here, brought my hand up, then jab, he's gonna see it coming. So instead, I'm gonna keep my hands up, drop it, then pop it. We wanna make sure we are outside of striking range. So if we were to touch gloves, ding, 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 hands are up, I'm gonna back up a bit. Now we're outside of striking range. Then I surprise them with my footwork by exploding and pushing off the balls of my rear foot, stepping in and throwing that jab. How do you decide what goes into like, I guess, 